It's a frustrating afternoon, I take it, your take on the game. Yeah, um, obviously we couldn't get that all-important goal. Uh, they made it hard for us, but I think we was slow in possession at times. Didn't, didn't switch the ball fast enough, so obviously we're disappointed. Uh, but obviously we've got a clean sheet, so we've got to take the positives and move on to choosing now. Yeah, is it maybe the hectic schedule that we've seen this August? Is it maybe taking its toll a little bit on the side? It's a reason, but it's not an excuse, you know. Obviously, that's the way it is. And, you know, we, they put everything in place for us to recover, so I don't think it's an excuse. Um, so, yeah, obviously, we'll be looking forward to choosing now. Another, another game to um, really put his mark on the game and hopefully get a win. At this stage of the season, especially with a lot of new faces, Liam Sides, we know are going to come to Valley Parade and frustrate you like Crew and like Doncaster. Done. Is it still at that stage you're learning just how to unlock sides when they come and set up like that? I think most sides are going to do what they've done today, um, but we've got to learn quickly and faster how to break that down. Um, because I think as so soon as we get one goal, um, we'll control the game then, especially here. So we've just got to learn how to uh, obviously break them down earlier than what we have been doing. Obviously, we couldn't do that today. Um, but we'll obviously take the point and um, take the clean sheet and move on. As a defender in that back line, you're the only face in that back line who was here last season. You mentioned the positives of a, another league clean sheet here at home. How have you found the, the new players and playing in that new look defence? Yeah, you know, obviously um, there were a lot of recruits in the summer that come in new faces, uh, but, we've, you know, we had six weeks in pre-season to gel. Um, and, yeah, it's, it, you know... The, all the lads are good and um, I think we've started OK. Obviously, we've wanted more points on the board, but I think uh, the fans can see that we've tried to move, it, move in the right direction and the performances and the wins should come. We talk about Valley Parade, don't we, all the time about making it a fortress, yet to concede a goal here in the league. Is that a small step towards doing that? Yeah, um, obviously that's what we want to do. We don't want to lose any football matches here because that will be very important in the running um, for promotion. Um, your home form is very important. Uh, so, yeah, like I say, we just need to hopefully get that first goal because I think if we get that first goal, um, we'll, kept, we'll, you know, we'll hold out and, uh, and win the football match. That's kind of key, isn't it? Because you know what happens if you score first, it opens the opposition up a little bit more. And we saw against Newport with the first goal, you really got into your groove a little bit there. So it is about getting that goal and almost getting it early on, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. We need to get that goal. Um, obviously, it didn't happen today because just felt... Performance were a bit lethargic and we didn't move, the, switch the ball quick enough at times. Um, but yeah, like, like you've just said, we need to get that first goal and uh, I think we'll control the game from then on in. For you as well, you're enjoying getting forward as well, overlapping as well. Do you really enjoy that part of your game, getting into that final third and working up there? Uh, yeah, I do, but I don't think I've been doing it as much as uh, I have done last season, to be honest with you. If I'm being totally honest with myself, I'm quite hard on myself. Um, I think that I need to improve on that, um, I need to improve on my fitness doing that like I was last season, uh, but that'll come. Uh, so, yes, yeah, just hopefully I can continue and uh, give more to the team. Credit to you for being honest. Uh, do you feel that just to get up to that level, Liam, you are just around the corner? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it takes time, you know. Uh, obviously, I had the operation over the summer. Um, <clears throat> missed quite a lot of pre-season, so literally into thick and fast of, of eight games on the spin so but yeah I'll, I will get there 100% and uh, hopefully I'll get to the performance levels that I was at the back end of last season and in terms of the mood following this game what did the manager say to you in the immediate aftermath <sighs> exactly what I've just said really obviously got to move the move the ball switch the ball faster because teams are just going to sit in here I think we'll see that 95% of the teams that come here they'll just sit in and we've got to be cleverer to break it down but then again, got to move on and uh, take a positive point and uh, obviously a positive clean sheet. Another Tuesday game, the EFL Trophy. How do you as a group of players view that competition? It's a competition to build momentum and win a football match. Um, obviously, Sheffield Wednesday, I'm aware they've sold quite a lot of uh, tickets, so it be a great occasion. Sheffield Wednesday, a massive football club, so it'll be, it'll be brilliant to, uh, obviously, a bit of a Yorkshire derby as well, so um, I think it'll be a good game. They won 5-0 today as well. They've continued their impressive start to the season in League One, but it's going to be another really good test for you and your side. Absolutely, but that's what we want. We want to, we want to challenge ourselves against the best because even on Tuesday, you know, Blackburn, I thought they was outstanding and um, that'll put us in good stead for the rest of the season if we're playing against uh, good players like that.